Hey everybody. It happened again. A little bit over a month ago, I made this video explaining how three of my YouTube channels were suspended, and then a couple days after this video, I posted a comment explaining how a fourth one of my channels was suspended, and then a week ago, I got these emails from YouTube that say 26 more of my YouTube channels were terminated. They just all say exactly the same thing. Which is a vague message saying I violated the terms of use and you were terminated for spam and deceptive stuff. And so I keep filling out these appeal forms to appeal the suspension and YouTube over the past few days they keep replying saying that they received my account appeal and they'll get back to me soon and then thank you for the account appeal we've decided to keep your account suspended based on the community guidelines and terms of service. And so when I go to the channel picker page, I see all these X's through the thumbnails because the majority of my channels are terminated now. Here's a list of the channels that are still active on top and the terminated ones on the bottom. And I put these channels in order of how upset I am that they're suspended. Like the ones on the bottom, I don't really care about these that much. Like I wasn't really very active on these channels. These channels weren't getting very many comments. They didn't have very many subscribers and stuff, but the further up you go, it just sucks that these top channels were terminated. This Powerball prediction video, it had like millions of videos on the channel that were private, and there's no way for me to upload those videos again. The 10,000 Movie Project channel, several news places wrote articles about this channel because it was like a neat idea, but there's literally no way for me to bring this channel back because it was all organized through YouTube annotations and YouTube does not let you add annotations anymore. So it's just, there's no physical way for me to add this channel back. It's just gonna be gone forever. The Let's Tape It channel, it was one of my oldest channels. It was like seven or eight years old. Literally the day before this was terminated, I was shooting new episodes. So I have two episodes of this show ready to go and people might never see them again. The YouTube Remix channel. Several big YouTubers retweeted the videos on this channel. It was like super cuts of YouTube, big YouTubers. Casey Neistat retweeted a video that was on this channel. Lots of big YouTubers did. Boogie2988, uh, Marquez Brownlee, MKBHD. John Eats Carrots, I'm sure you're all familiar with that. Um, Vsauce has like a link to this channel, which just doesn't work right now. This is many years of videos gone. John counts to 100,000. It had thousands of subscribers, you know, all these other ones, like, they're just all terminated right now. John Drinks Water is still active, and that's good. Molly Toaster Media is still active, and that's good. Tech Thursday is the new Tech Thursday, because, like I said in the previous video, that was terminated, so this is just the new version of it. And then, these other ones I don't really even care about. They're active, but I honestly don't even care about these that much. So, why were they terminated? I don't know. YouTube gives a very vague message of why they say spam or deceptive practices or just generally violating the community service terms of use. And so here are some possible theories I have. It's possible someone went through my channels and mass flagged my videos and was targeting me or something like that. Or someone at YouTube is just out to get me, which I doubt. I am like a small YouTuber. I'm probably not even on their radar, um, to be honest. Okay, that's one reason. Maybe it's because in the emails, it says you are prohibited from accessing, possessing, or creating any other YouTube accounts. So maybe it's because I had one YouTube account suspended, and so since you're not allowed to have other YouTube accounts, maybe that's maybe that's the rule I was breaking, was just having other YouTube accounts. So maybe that's why. Maybe it's because in my YouTube descriptions, I had a bunch of affiliate links. I'm not even sure if that's breaking a rule or not, but here's screenshot of what my descriptions looked like on some of the channels and so I had tons of links in the channels and at the bottom I had links to affiliate links maybe that looks like spam to them or maybe their automatic system just detected that as being spam or something and since it had that on all my videos maybe they just saw it as being spam that's just a possibility of why it was suspended I don't know and final reason is maybe it was because of the Powerball prediction channel and because like I mentioned in a previous video and explained how I did it, I uploaded millions of videos to that channel, which were all private, but maybe YouTube's automatic systems saw those millions of videos and suspended that channel, and just because my other channels were linked together, maybe that's why they were all suspended? I don't really know. I don't really know the reason why. That's what makes it so difficult to, um, to fill out this form, 
because they ask, like, explain um, why you think your channel is suspended in error. That's really hard to answer because I don't know why I was suspended to begin with. So what's next? I could keep resubmitting the appeal and just hope that it gets approved eventually, which is possible. That is possible. My channel, Modi Toaster Media, was actually suspended for over two years. And every few months, I just kept resubmitting the appeal over and over again, every few months. And they kept denying it over and over again. And eventually, they brought the channel back after over two years of it being suspended. So, this is a possibility of something I could do. Or I could just make new channels for those videos and just re-upload them to their own individual channel and just start from scratch. All the subscribers and comments would be gone, and the dates would be inaccurate of when they were originally made. But that's a possibility. Or I could upload them all to um, Moldy Toaster Media. Moldy Toaster Media is kind of a big mess. It just has lots of random videos, and like, it's just a big mess, kind of. But it's a possibility I could just upload all the channels from all the other, all the, all the videos from all the other channels to this channel, just mix them all together, and that's a possibility. And it would kind of make sense because this channel has like over 30,000 subscribers and it's already, you know, a mix together like this. But it doesn't make sense because like if somebody is subscribed to Tech Thursday, they don't want to see videos of me eating carrots. If somebody subscribed to Let's Tape It, they don't want to see videos of me drinking water probably. So it kind of makes sense to upload them to this channel, but it also kind of doesn't. Another option is to just move all the videos to a different website. Maybe I could switch to Facebook and just upload the videos to Facebook or, you know, Vimeo or something. But this doesn't make sense because I'm used to YouTube and YouTube's the most popular and I don't know. It's harder to make lots of channels on other platforms also. Another option is just to give up on, you know, those channels and those videos and just call it quits. YouTube me kind of, it's like, it's like I'm in an abusive relationship. It's like, should I keep going back to them if they keep suspending my channels and doing this to me? Um, yeah, leave your comments on this video and just give me your thoughts on what I should do next. Let's drink some water. Like, I literally just made this same video two months ago explaining what happened to those three channels and how I feel about that. And now it's just many times bigger than that. You know, making videos is a huge part of my life and it just sucks having some random person at YouTube decide, nope, that part of your life is gone now. Like, I, I was thinking of ways of how to describe how it feels having all those channels be gone. And I was thinking like, is it like being fired? Like being fired from a job? But no, it's not like that. Because if you're fired, you can just find a new job the next day and you still have all the money you made from that job. Um, it's not like being fired at all. It's more like, it feels like somebody died. It's like, you have all the memories of that person, but you have like, no, you know, evidence of them. It's, it's like an empty feeling. Like, I have no proof of that these channels existed. They were suspended a couple days before the 4th of July, and I met up with my family for a barbecue, and one of my family members was, was like, hey, you should show us that um, video where you tape your parents' house. And, you know, I have to, like, say, oh, I can't show you that because the channel was terminated, and I look like kind of a jerk. And, um, yeah, just... It just sucks that this happened, and it's not the first time it's happened. It's like I've had so many channels terminated. Um, I mean, I guess the good news is John drinks water, and Willie Toaster Media still exists. And I kind of wonder if they still exist just because of the numbers of subscribers, like. If YouTube puts more thought into suspending channels with more subscribers. So I might just have you guys to thank. Because you were subscribed, it might be the reason this channel still exists. Um, yeah. Anyway, if you have any questions about the whole situation, leave a comment. 
and thanks for watching. Let's just do another bonus cup of water. I'm thirsty, so why not?